Welcome back everybody. VST here, Valentin Pistech. You're watching my expert role, astrophotography testing, guys. These days, there is a lot of controversy around Samsung and the moon and etc. And I promise to do a whole video about this. I have a way of testing this with real optics. Anyway, this video is gonna be on something else. As you might have known, there are some new settings inside Expert Row that enable the so-called astrophotography, guys. We have also the sky guide, so we are able to show the sky guide, guys. And we are also able to take a photo with a duration of four minutes, then also seven minutes, and then also 10 minutes, guys. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm going to just ankle the foam so that we are able to find Orion. Okay, that's Orion and I'm just going to ankle my camera again and I am going to use the wide camera which is the main camera to do a 10 minutes picture guys by the way this also works on telephoto on super telephoto and also on the ultra wide but okay I want to use the main sensor so that's Orion that's through astrophoto guys and without any further ado I'm gonna hit the shutter button guys I only hope that no bird will fly and kick my phone because it just stands on the magic here. But okay, I mean, we have to try these things out. So let's just speed up the video, guys, and we together will observe the end result. All right, guys, the photo has been taken, and now it's time for us to go back on the PC and examine together the result. So yeah, just let's see what's happened. I have connected my Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra to my PC. Inside, in the camera, DCM, there is a folder called Expert Row. So, here are the pictures, guys. I am going to create an Expert Row folder on the desktop. And we're going to copy two pictures. Remember, 10 minutes exposure. So, there is one JPEG, which is very nice. And, of course, a DNG, which is the RAW file. So, now, without any further ado, guys, I'm going to be opening them. And, yeah, let's just see what we are able to sneak in. So, I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to go to the expert row. So, let's directly open the DNG because it's uh, hopefully having more information. So, it's 12 megabytes. So, let's see. All right, guys. So, this is the picture that we were able to take on a tripod. Okay. So, let's just zoom in. And I guess this is Orion, right? So, this is what they're telling us. And I do believe that this, this somehow fits also to what we have seen on the so-called sky guide. If I open the JPEG, I guess we're gonna have the same results, probably even a bit blurry. You know what I can do, guys? I can open the JPEG and the DNG just to be able to compare. So this here is the DNG, you can just check. 4000 by 3012 megabytes, all right, so eight seconds here, f1.7, 400, uh, so it's pretty much, of course, the same. This here is the compressed version. So don't imagine something spectacular. This is just the information that we are able to get. So let's go with this Orion constellation. Okay, this is really a very nice picture. I'm gonna put the link down below so that we are also able to examine this. So let's just scroll down a bit. And now going back to the information that we have. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, if I minimize this circle to 50%, we are able to see something that really, really looks similar and again, I didn't really expect any, any wonders, guys. Uh, still works quite nice. Overall, this is the information that we were able to get. Now, is this fake? Is this not fake? If I zoom in a bit and try to align the information with what I see here on the website, I would probably say that this is really what the phone was able to capture. So it should be really an optical one. Okay, yet another here information from Earth Sky. So Ram, Betelgeuse, Riegel, Southwest Evening. So we pretty much see that this was the shape that we're getting. So again, don't expect some mind-blowing results. 10 minutes astrophotography, guys. Outside is not um, like having the perfect condition. It's really cloudy and it's really as good as it gets. So this is the information. I wanted to make this video so that you can at least see these results. And I promise some information on the moon as long as I'm having really a clean shot to the moon. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay safe. VST over and... Bye! Bye.